inverse proportion. So inverse proportions. You study direct proportions. You know what is ratio of ratio ratios again direct proportion. This you studied from you are studying from ratio you studying from grade six. Direct proportion you studied in grade nine. Okay. So what is ratio? What is ratio? What is the condition? You need to be same. You need to say American. For example, for example, uh, one liter, uh, one liter, two liter, okay, water. So one liter uh, juice, we mix two liter water. Okay, so here we have same unit. So the ratio, how do we read the ratio? How do we read? We have two methods to read. Old one is, for example, if you want to, this is the, this is the ratio, if you want to read, so this can be read in the two ways. The old one is, one is two. The new one is one to two. Okay, one to two. One is to two is old one, but still we use but better one to two. One to two to three to four to be like we say like that. But we, we also one is to two is to three is two. But this is, we can say in both ways. But this old is new, right? So there is under the ratio. Again, direct proportions. Direct proportions. Under the direct proportions, you study in three ways of solving the direct proportions. First, unitary method. What is unitary method? How? What is unitary method? Sentence. Uh, for example, uh, okay. For example, for example, five. Mangoes, ten rupees. How much? How much? Then how much? How much? Ten mangoes. Okay, how much? Ten mangoes. So how can we find out? So you tell me that five mangoes, ten rupees. Therefore, one mango, one, one mango is ten divided by five, two rupees. Therefore, ten mangoes, ten mango two times now. Sorry, ten into two twenty rupees. So this is is a unitary method. Second, we studied. Uh, Arrow diagram. Remember? Arrow diagram? Forget. Okay, arrow diagram. Second, we have arrow diagram. What is arrow diagrams? Okay, we will do the same question again. We will do same conditions. Two conditions. Five mango. Ten rupees. Again, how much mangoes? Sorry. 10 mangoes, how much rupees? Yes, now we can write down. 5 is 2. 10 equal to 10 to x. So we can write down this in a fraction. 5 over 10 is equal to 10 over x. From there, from this x is equal to 20. Okay, this is what arrow diagram. Then third, third. Fraction and 
we are substituting the constant. Constant. Do you remember constant algebraic symbols? Algebraic symbol for the constant word. For example, now we say x equal to. Sorry, do you remember this? Y is equal to k x. This is constant. Constant. Huh? Okay. This is this is this is the third method. Okay. So y is equal to k x and whatever. For example, first time the k is constant. The power mar adi. The power the k mar adi. We are great now. Let's finish. I am not willing to repeat it again. But I am see how to solve this one. For example, I am buying ten mangoes for five rupees. Again. Again, so how many mangoes? For, sorry, why? This is why. Again, k is constant. K is same. K is same. But here, what? Ten. Yes or no? Ten, right? Ten mangoes. So here, x is mango. I am representing mangoes. Again, this is the price of cost. This is constant. So I am applying first time. The price is ten for five mangoes. Second time, the price is unknown. We want to find for the ten mangoes. So now one divided by two, ten over y is equal to k times five, k times ten, k and k will fly out. K and k will fly out. Oh. Cancel. So now y is equal to twenty. What is y? What is y? This is cost. Okay, this is summary. Okay, write down. This is complete summary. Oh, that is unitary method. Actual unitary method. This is a basic. That is the example. Ah, five mango. Sorry, five mango. Who five do? Ah, and then that is four mango. Who four? That is Andre. Understood. Again, first mango. Why all of you? So actually, this is unitary method. But you are finding for one to be all of one. Because there are other things. Okay, that is same. This and this are same. Unitary method. Obviously, that is unitary method. So find the number suitable for the box. Uh, for the box, each of the each of the following to be direct proportions. So this is direct proportions. Five to ten, five to two is equal to two and two to what? So how do we do this? Simply we are converting into fractions. Five over two is equal to two and two over box. Then we can find out this. Okay, we can if you want. You know, I'm not doing this not proper method, but I'm then I box of one is here, right? We are simply putting the x or y. Okay, uh, this box is equal to what? 20 multiply 2 by 5. Okay, so then you are going to worry about five times this. Understood? What I am doing? Five times this and two to two times 20. So now I am this multiplying. So after equations it will be so the dividend so five. Okay. So now you can find that this.